Hey guys, Laserbolt here and welcome to another episode. Today I'm going to show you how you can learn the startup procedure for any aircraft. One of the things I like the most about Flight Simulator isn't just flying around checking out the beautiful graphics and seeing all the cool spots, it's how much of a deep simulation it actually is. I love sitting in the cockpit, flipping switches, using the radio, turning your lights on and doing all that stuff. And it's really pretty satisfying going through the complicated startup procedure of some of these large aircraft. Well, let me show you how to use the checklist on your kneeboard. Pretty soon you'll be starting up anything from a jumbo jet to a pit special. Anything in between. Alright, let's hop in the trusty Beechcraft Bonanza. And I'll show you how this works. First of all, you probably know that if you start on a runway as your departure location, You'll load into the game with your aircraft sitting on the runway with the engines fully started, lights on, some flaps, cleared to take off and everything. But if you set your departure as a parking spot, you will load into the game cold and dark. No engines running, no electricity, just a parked aircraft. And here we are parked at the airport in our beautiful little bonanza. Okay, go up to the top here and find your checklist. As you can see here, this actually has a pretty simple procedure for starting up, uh, only a few operations in each step. But remember, this checklist will be unique for each aircraft. Okay, first we'll go to the Before Starting Engines tab. And it has a set of four instructions for us to do before we can start the engines. Let's click on Parking Brake. Now here's something that's pretty cool, look at this. If you click on the little eyeball symbol here, It'll literally take you to and highlight what it's talking about. Parking brake set. Alrighty. Set. And then you hit this here to tick off the item. It moves on to the next one. All avionics off. It would be the switch right here. It looks like it is in the off position, which is down. So we'll just leave that right where it's at. Tick. Fuel selector. Make sure it's on the fullest tank. Well, my tanks are equal, so as long as it's on a tank, and it is, we've got the left and the right tank here. It's on the left one. We'll tick that off. And the battery and alternator switches. Where is that? Well, that is handy right here. All right, let's click this up. Turn all these batteries and alternators on. We got some power take item okay that first page is done let's go to the starting engine page okay we'll start with the mixture make sure it's rich click on that it's right here make sure you push it fully up tick item prop RPM lever it's this one right next to it we'll put that all the way up too tick it Throttle, make sure the throttle is full. All the way up, fuel system's wide open, tick it. Fuel boost pump, okay, it says turn it on until flow peaks, then turn it off. That would be this right here. We'll put it all the way up to the high position. You'll notice on this one, not only does the switch get highlighted, it also highlights your fuel flow gauge. So, let's go ahead and Click that all the way up, and our fuel flow is flowing. Good deal. It says uh, on until it peaks and then off. I think it has peaked. Let's go ahead and turn it off. Our system is primed. Tick it. Okay, now the throttle. We want to go back and pull that down and then open it just about, I don't know, a half inch. Take that item, Magneto Start Switch. It is this handy thing right here. First we need to set the switch to the start position and then release it to the both position when the engine fires. Do not engage more than 30 seconds in any four minute period. Alrighty, well, we're gonna spin the knob here by using our mouse wheel and put it over the start position. All right, the engine is started up and it automatically goes back to the both. Alrighty, take that off. Now it wants us to set the throttle between 1000 and 1200 RPM. There we go, that's the range we're looking for. Take that off the list. Oil pressure, let's see. 
It wants to make sure our oil pressure is correct. Oil pressure's in the green, that's good to go. Ticket item. Okay, the page is complete. Now, what do we do after starting the engines? Well, we make sure our master avionic switch is on. That would be down here. This is the one we made sure was off earlier. Now it is on. And there you go, it's firing up our Garmin system. Very nice. Okay, lights as required. Where are they? Here we got lights. Make sure we turn on our strobes, nav, and our taxi lights. Worry about our landing light later when we're on the runway. Make sure to tick these items off the list. The fuel boost pump. Make sure that's off. Tick that item. And then parking brake release. our brakes off and we are ready to go so look how handy that is just having this nice little list here three page list only a few items on each one and uh, you can start up any aircraft like I said it's pretty damn handy having it actually light up and highlight the things that you're looking for once you go through the list a couple times you'll be able to do it easily by memory There you go guys, now you know how you can start up any aircraft in Flight Simulator. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye now.